Hi there! In this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through the VFAIRS trade show platform. And together, we'll look at some past events that we have hosted to give you an idea of what is possible and what you can expect from our solution. So, let's get straight into it. First off, let's talk about where your virtual event will take place and what your URL will look like. We support two options here. You can host the event on our VFAIRS subdomain, for example, your company name .vfairs.com, or alternatively, you can host the event on any custom subdomain of your liking, for example, tradeshow.yourcompany.com. We offer you both options. Once you have the event URL sorted, the next question is, how do you get attendees to learn more about your online trade show? And where can your marketing team direct users to go and sign up? For this, we work with you to set up a landing page for your virtual event. Your landing page is fully branded with the logo of your trade show or your organization, and of course, the date and time of the event itself. In case visitors come before the event starts, the landing page can also have a countdown timer to let audiences know how far the event is. After that, you can pretty much add any other detail that describes your event or compels users to sign up. It could be the agenda of the event, some information around why someone should attend it or what they will get out of it. It could be content around who you are as an organization or about the category of products and services that will be offered at the event. Or you could put up a logo map with all the exhibitors, partners and sponsors. You can even add some FAQs. So there's a lot you can do here. The landing page is fully customizable. All right, next up, let's look at how you will be able to capture registrations of users that are planning to attend the virtual event. The great thing with VFairs is the fact that you have so much flexibility when it comes to registration. The first option is to set up a registration form with custom fields. The form is completely configurable. You can let us know what fields you'd like to add and what labels you'd like to use, for instance, first name, last name, contact details, etc., or any other information you'd like to capture. And in case of B2C events, anyone is free to register for the event in this way. Side note, VFairs is GDPR compliant, so we take care when it comes to personally identifiable information. We can also add a GDPR consent text on the registration form should you require it. The second registration option is an off-site model where organizers come to us and tell us that they're already capturing registrations elsewhere. For example, maybe on their own website, through Eventbrite, Google Forms, etc. So, in case you have an authenticated list of distributors and suppliers, you can simply export that data and share it with us. On our end, we'll simply import the data and provision user accounts that way. We also offer you a great choice of third-party integrations, such as Zapier integration. And if you're hosting a paid trade show where attendees need to buy a ticket to attend, we can collect that payment through the registration form by the integration with PayPal or Stripe. All right, now let's get to the fun part. Let's look at what your audience will get to see on the day of the live event. Once attendees log into the virtual event with their credentials, they enter an online space which we call the virtual lobby. The lobby is designed with a 3D outlook and it gives an immersive feel to the visitor as if he or she is actually entering a trade show. There are so many beautiful designs that you can choose from. And if you're looking for something simpler than these animated designs, we can also work with you to create more plain 2D options like these. On the other hand, if you're looking for more customizable options, keep in mind that we can replicate anything you like or even design anything from scratch as well. Moreover, within these templates, we can also include diverse character sets from different skin tones, backgrounds, and cultures, and in that way, promote inclusivity. Let's move on. After a user reaches the lobby, they have three main areas that they can navigate to. The virtual auditorium room, the exhibit hall, and the information booth. Let's go through them one by one. Let's start off with the exhibit hall. This is essentially a collection of booths or stands hosted by your exhibitors, vendors, partners, or sponsors. 
and it's a place where your audience can interact and engage with them. We offer so many different designs on how your exhibit hall and your booths could look like, and here are some examples from past events. Now, when an attendee clicks on one of these booths, they can learn more about a particular exhibitor or sponsor. Users can take a look at their company profiles, documents, videos, etc. They can then save these documents into something we call a swag bag or a virtual briefcase. At the end of the day, all these saved documents are emailed to the user so that they can view them later on as well. Moving on to what's most important, Booth owners can also list their products within their stands. The product's inventory can be imported in one go through a script, and all we'll need is a CSV file from your side. This will get loaded in our product search interface, which can be searched by filters for product description, item codes, and booth names. Now, attendees can go to a specific booth, click on the product tab, search through listings for that exhibitor. They can then add products into their shopping cart and submit an intent of order via email or even purchase products through our payment gateway integration. Next, as the event is happening, users will be able to see who else is online on a particular booth. Attendees can click on chat to bring up the chat interface and initiate conversations in real time. Here, they can start a one-on-one -on -one chat with the exhibitor or enter a group chat room. In the group chat, audiences can post questions and exhibitors can post answers in the chat room for everyone to see and benefit from. Then, attendees can use the private chat option. This allows the exhibitor and the visitor to get into a one-on-one -on -one text, chat, or an audio-video conversation. Another option is to reserve a chat slot with a particular exhibitor. And depending on what you've collected on the registration form and what the privacy policy is, both parties can see each other's profile data, which means exhibitors might be able to see what kind of product or service the attendee is interested in and request to book a slot with the attendee to place their offer. Attendees can also drop their business card within the booth so exhibitors can have access to their contact information. So, quick summary. We offer group chat rooms and one-on-one -on -one private chats. In case of private chats, we give you the option to use text, audio, or even video chat. That was all about the exhibit hall. Let's look at the next section, which is called the virtual auditorium. The virtual auditorium is where your trade show agenda is hosted, and it lists all of the speakers that are scheduled to present at your event. I'll quickly walk you through different examples of other auditorium designs as well. Once I click on the screen, I get to see the agenda of your trade show. Over here, you can add the speaker's name, bio, picture, as well as handouts that attendees can download before or after the event. Attendees can also use the search bar to find a topic or session of interest to them from the agenda. Your speakers can host live or pre-recorded webinars, and they can even deliver concurrent sessions with our embedded Zoom module. They can also run live polls and Q&A during their sessions, and these webinars could be conducted with real-time translation to multiple languages. Last up, in case you're broadcasting in real time from a physical venue, we've got you covered there as well. Every organizer wants to ensure that there is high engagement with their webinars, so we provide them with the ability to trigger push notifications on-site. Using this, you as an organizer can notify users about a keynote session that's about to begin or some breakout session that 
will involve networking, and in this way, you can encourage them to head over there so that they don't miss out. With this, we've wrapped up everything around the virtual auditorium room. Next, the final piece is the information desk or the help desk. This is where participants can communicate with you as the event organizer. Moreover, there's also a technical help desk where your attendees and exhibitors can directly reach out to us for any technical support required. We offer users to get in touch through live chat, direct phone line, or through an email address dedicated to your event. This support is available to you as an event organizer and also to your event attendees, sponsors, and speakers. All right, with this, we've wrapped up the core components of the virtual trade show platform. I'm going to quickly move on to a couple more things that may or may not be relevant for your event, but they're still worth mentioning. We enable you to boost engagement at your trade show through so many different tools and gamification. Let's first start off with our networking opportunities. So in some trade shows, you might want your attendees to connect with one another with the aim of exploring partnerships. The lounge launches the same chat interface, but here your attendees can chat with one another instead of just with exhibitors. Attendees can search for one another and they can book one-on-one -on -one text, audio, or video calls to exchange information. They can also join pre-created chat rooms to discuss certain topics around your trade show. In addition to these, your event attendees can also make use of our matchmaking solutions to expand their networking opportunities and get airtime with prospects and leads. Now, let's talk about some gamifications. The first method involves running a live leaderboard. A leaderboard allows you to grant virtual points to users based on them carrying out certain activities. For example, you might want to give them points for registering early, or if they attend a specific keynote session, and so on. The leaderboard is visible to all users, and they can see where they rank at all times. And then, it's up to you as an event organizer to decide how you want to reward them. You can give away things like Amazon gift cards, iPads, Apple Watches, you name it. Another gamification mechanism we support are scavenger hunts. In a scavenger hunt, you can give users certain clues and ask them to find objects or images that are hidden across the pages of your event. You can then also reward them based on their discovery. For example, you can ask them to locate Elvis in the lobby. And here he is. Here's another example of a scavenger hunt. And these objects can be virtually anything you can think of. This would encourage your users to explore more areas of the event and register higher engagement. Next up on the list of making your event even more engaging is the virtual photo booth. You can turn on the excitement for your attendees by allowing them to take creative selfies boomerangs and pictures with all sorts of backgrounds and filters. They can then enter the photo gallery to view and like other attendees' pictures. Last up, you can also view real-time reactions with a social media wall. This feature allows you to pull in social media posts with specific hashtags from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more directly into your virtual event. Next, a bit about reporting. The great thing about virtual events is the fact that everything is tracked and it's measurable. You can quickly find out who logged in, how many people visited each booth, how many orders were placed, and so on. We provide a back-end reporting area where you can access all of these stats in real time. What's more, we even deliver a PDF report after the event that summarizes your event's main metrics for you. For example, people registered, how many logged in, how many unique logins, interactions with contact items, booth engagement, webinar stats, etc. Moreover, we give you the raw data so that you can actually see, say, who are those 100 people that visited a certain booth, and so on. You can also share these stats with exhibitors and sponsors so that they can understand the kind of engagement they got. All right. That sums up the platform's capabilities. 
Let me take a minute to talk about the process. So, if you were to sign up with us, the first thing that will happen is that we will assign a dedicated customer success manager and a project manager who will work with you to get your event set up and manage the entire process. They will work with you to get your landing page set up and your virtual environment built out. We provide all the tools to help your exhibitors set up their respective booths themselves. We provide an easy and simple self-service system that will take them through a step-by-step -step wizard to set up their booths from choosing a template, adding videos, images, and configuring settings. We'll work with your speakers to see if they need any training to record videos or deliver webinars. And of course, if they need any further assistance, our team will be happy to give them a hand. And yes, this is with no additional cost. For VFairs, the idea is not to just provide you with a solid technology, but also to ensure that you run a successful event by acting as your consultants. Now, there are hundreds of companies that have used our platform. This includes companies like Jake's Finer Foods, Sage, Marine Max, Teradata, and so many more. You can jump on Captera and G2 to see the reviews on our technology and post-sales support. We're also happy to give you any references in case you want to reach out and learn more about how it was working with us. And that's it. I hope this video was useful and it gave you an idea of what VFairs can do for your upcoming virtual trade show. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us on the contact form on the site or on sales at vfairs.com and we will take your questions. Thank you for watching.